Hey guys, Ricardo and welcome to another blog tech tips. Alright guys, so let's go straight into showing how to actually link the your Android device with your DZ09 smartwatch, alright? So in case you missed it guys, I'll put a link on screen where you can go over and see how to find and download the software. Alright, so this video is assuming that you have already watched that video. And of course, if you did not, I'll put the link on screen or um, down below. So the BT Notifier software is this one right here, alright? Uh, just in case you can't find it, simply scan this QR code on your device. You should find it over here. And once you scan the QR code, you should download this to your phone. All right. So let's get straight into it. So first things, guys, you're going to turn on once the software is downloaded to your phone. Once you scan the QR code and you download the APK file, go ahead and install. Um, allow unknown sources. And of course, it will install quite easily. You can go ahead and launch. And here's the interface. So once you're here in the interface, what you can do is exit. And of course, you're going to turn on um, Bluetooth on your um, device. So once you turn Bluetooth on, turn it on. And of course, I've already paired my devices, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. You can go in here. And of course, once you're in here, you're just going to swipe up. Once you go over here, you're going to look for the Bluetooth app or the Bluetooth icon. Once you find Bluetooth, go ahead and turn Bluetooth on. Notice you see that it says off. You're going to power on. And once it's on, notice it's showing my device. It's connected to the device already. It's asking you, do you want to sync, um, sync date and time? I'm just going to say no. But of course, for yours, it might be a little bit different. What you'll have to do is make your um, device, turn the visibility on. Or better yet, you'll search for a new device. Once you search for a new device, you should see your um, various devices. In my case, it's the U7. Although it's already connected, you're going to select it. It's going to ask you about peering, and there's going to be a pin. You can record the pin in case the device asks for it. You're then going to hit OK. And of course, it will pop up over here. On this device saying that the device is trying to connect by um, Bluetooth once you do all of that guys it will be peered peering is quite easy if you have ever connected to Bluetooth devices so now that I've actually done that what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna go straight into um, the U7 you can check the connection notice it said disconnect that means we're connected so I'm just gonna back out um, of course next what you can do now is go in again and launch the BT notifier all right, so there you go. BT Notifier is should be connected right now. Notice it's sharing um, SIM information, um, call, save features, and so on. And show connection status, always send notification. All right, so now let's see if we're actually connected. Now, some features will only work with the both devices connected, others with your SIM card in this device. I already have a SIM card in, as you can see, my network, and of course, signal strength and all that. But of course, I'm just showing you the connectivity features. All right, let's look for a feature that actually depends on that. Um, for example, if I go into audio, I could actually play audio if I want. But I'm going to look for another feature that's actually connected. Just give me a second, guys. Ah, I could go into my call log. I could go into my diary and my messages. I'm going to show you messages. If I go into inbox, notice it says loading. And that's loading from my device over here and there you go and these are the same messages that's on um, this device over here so if I minimize I go into messages there you go notice it shows several messages it does arrange it a little bit different from the phone but it's the same messages it's showing four new messages from um, flow there and of course all four is listed out there I can actually go through and of course it's loading more and you can see the number along with and those numbers are here so that's from the sync I'm gonna exit all right I can go back back all right so that's messages I can also go into the dialer and from the dialer here guys I can actually go into um, the phone book and notice the small Bluetooth icon there by Bluetooth I can it says loading again there you go it's actually showing you all the contacts from the phone and it's just going through and you can see that and these are the same contacts that's over here 
in my sorry in my um, contacts there you go it's the same contacts that's over here all right so you get the idea guys and you can actually go into your car logs do all of that and sorry another cool feature you can actually use guys is remote capture which will actually use the device that's connected by a bluetooth um, camera so let me just exit this one and of course here we go and this is with the app just the same notice it says um, disconnect bt music I'm just gonna um, hit back okay disconnecting loading all right and of course if you look over here what i'm doing i'm remotely viewing notice i'm not moving anything except the um camera and it's remotely send me sending me the feed for the camera over here let me look at something that's off to the side all right and there you go that's a watch you notice you're not seeing that that's off screen but of course it's being viewed through the camera remotely all right so that's another cool feature you can actually check out with the um, bt um, notifier um, there's still other cool stuff well that's it basically all right so as you can see it's connected so the idea is to actually pair the devices search for the phone over here connect once you connect and pair both devices you'll be able to remotely control um, them and of course if there's a phone call what would happen is that this device would actually pick up the call and push it to the phone once they're connected by Bluetooth. And of course, once you're finished, guys, you can actually go back in. And instead of being on, you can actually turn it off. It says, please um, release connected device first. So if there's any um, connected um, device, you can actually just go ahead and um, disconnect them. So for example, I could just disconnect from over here. Just give me a second. And the device does show up in my case as W90. I'm just gonna close the connection. Okay. And off. And it's giving the option to switch on. So it's, it's turn off. Off. So guys, it's off. And of course, I'm no longer um, connected or I've unpaired both devices. And there you go. It's now off. And that's how you basically do it so guys that's all you do actually do it all right so in case you have any questions on how to actually use the bt notifier software and how to connect both devices it's quite easy as i showed so if any question please ask them below so this is from blog tech tips and another set of cool tech tips showing you how to actually use the bt notifier software on your device all right so this is from blog tech tips and bye until next time bye